Sagittarius. Hello. Welcome back to the Tarot Closet. Welcome if you're new to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Christine. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Welcome to another Sagittarius Tarot reading. Sagittarius love tarot reading. Sagittarius love reading. Sag, I'm channeling for you in real time in December 2023. I almost said 2024. And you could be here in real time. You could also be here many months, even years later. And that is because this is a timeless reading. You are here when you're meant to be here. This is a faded connection, Sagittarius. It means there is a message here for you. Wanted to show you what's going on. Look at that, the Queen of Discs, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Queen of Swords. So the truth coming here, the truth and a new beginning coming here. A lot of healing energy here in this Queen of Pentacles, of course, around your connection, your relationship, your partnership, new beginnings. She can make things work that were not working. And that's really, I feel, reliant on who else is here, which is the Queen of Swords. Libra ruled by Venus energy coming here to be totally honest. Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, and Saturn energy. So let's see what else is going on. But they are wanting to reveal the Queen of Swords has come back in reverse. So they're obviously, <laughs> we need that energy because there's been some dishonesty here. Okay, interesting. I forgot to tell you that this is also your Sagittarius love messages, reading Sagittarius, channeled messages from your person, messages from their higher self. They're both coming back in reverse. My gosh. Okay, well, that's really interesting. So again, the Queen of Pentacles now here in reverse. You know, it was it, whatever went on here, we saw them coming in, that they're coming here with the truth. So this is the past energy for me. The partnership placement today is the Queen of Swords, again, coming back in reverse, Capricorn and Saturn energy. Saturn can slow some things down. You know, it's rules and structure, tradition, some restrictions, you know, some obstacles. So whatever has been going on around this pentacle, I feel like it's around your person, those obstacles. They're wanting to apologize. It's time to get moving on this communication. Look at that. The Six of Swords showing itself. Mercury and Aquarius energy. You know, I mean, it's <laughs> shiny swords coming here out of a lot of emotional energy. They're very deep. So how how long are these swords? They're they're looking pretty stable. So they're, they've hit the they're all the way here at the bottom. Some hurt here. I mean, you can see it. It's time to move past whatever's been going on. We know that that Queen of Swords came here with the truth. So now we're getting kind of a peek, I feel like, into what's been going on. Yeah, look at that. The Seven of Swords in reverse. They're wanting to come in here and make some peace. So there has been some dishonesty here. What is that around? Let's continue on. For some of you, there may have been some betrayal. Is this, have they been running from communication or is, has it been physical as well? Whatever they changed here with this behavior, Aquarius and Uranus energy, they're coming back in here to make peace. We, we saw it, it came, it went, it's going back in. <laughs> I wanted to say to you that, of course, you could be here many months and years later and that's because you're here when you're meant to be here. So you could also be here in 2024. But I wanted to say if you are here in real time, happy holidays. If you celebrate, wherever you celebrate and however you celebrate. I know not everybody does, but I would be remiss if I didn't mention that, <laughs> of course. All the links are below for all the decks that are coming in today. The Two of Cups and the Ten of Wands showing here. Yeah, it's a new cycle. Somebody here is coming with an offer. What is that? Proposal energy can be marriage in the Two of Cups, Venus and Cancer energy, a decision. But that proposal can be to talk again, to see each other. At the very least, I'll tell you, the proposal is let's put down these Ten of Wands. Let's end this. No contact, no communication and or in separation. It's exhausting. A completion energy in a new cycle beginning here. Yeah. Are you coming with the truth here? 
Sagittarius's person because we see that and we saw that seven of swords coming back in here in reverse to make some peace. I think, yeah, seven of cups and the two of cups came back in. And this also just got left behind. It's the moon in reverse and I just got shown the three of swords. <laughs> I wanna show you what's at the bottom of the deck and then I'm moving it around because it needs to be seen. But before we do, <laughs> I have to finish telling you, all the decks are below and all the playlists are below, your playlist of, as well as Sagittarius and all 12 signs. If you're on a twin flame journey, there are very long, very in-depth twin flame readings you can also find down there. Remember, it's a general reading. It's a general tarot reading. So take what resonates, let the rest go. If you ever feel things are vice versa, and that's how it is. If it's not your reading today, it's not your reading. You know, that's how it all goes. <laughs> I would really appreciate it if you took the time to like today's video and subscribe to the Tarot Closet if you haven't. And that's about everything I wanted to say here. So look at that the heartbreak energy, the no contact, no communication and or in separation. It looks like you might still not be talking at the moment as I'm channeling for you. Saturn and Libra energy. And yeah, that Saturn energy is playing a pretty, a pretty strong, what can I say? It's a strong energy here. Capricorn and Saturn energy also with the Queen of Pentacles, with things not moving, with things not healed, you know? And... This Three of Swords is connecting directly now with the message coming in. We know the truth is coming in, but this is that energy. Look, here's the thing, the Moon energy, Pisces energy, also bringing in Cancer and Gemini. It's in reverse, so the clarity that they have about how they feel and what they want is here, and that truth is coming to you. And also, the la I, wa I want to say they've been holding things back emotionally, obviously, and that's some of the truth that they haven't been honest about, which they're coming in here, which really played a huge part in this connection and why things went the way they did. However you separated, whether it was just communication and or physically, it's the lack of sharing that. We also see here in the Seven of Cups in reverse that they may have had some commitment issues. Is that what it is for some of you? Yeah. But it can be a lot more other things going on. They were stuck in the Seven of Cups energy, I feel, Venus and Scorpio energy. It's in reverse now. This is the clarity here. And seeing what, what they've done. This is literally coming out of that illusion energy. Also here with the moon energy and what has been getting held back. This truth is coming. Um, they have some clarity. And that's what's coming in here. For me, this is where your person's energy is the strongest Sagittarius, but of course they're everywhere. Is here in this Two of Cups today, this Venus and Cancer energy, that cup is full of truth, which is bringing in some apologetic energy. You can see that I feel like it's needed. What else is coming in with that, you know? Well, I wanted to show you that too. So yeah, wishy-washy energy, possibly some broken promises. The Princess Cups, which is one of two, actually, Knight of Cups energies here in this deck. Scorpio energy, Pluto energy. Yeah, it's like a broken promise energy, you know? It's kind of a wishy-washy energy. So that's more of, well, they're, they're knowing, they're clear now. They're coming out of, yeah, whatever stuck energy they have been in. The Four of Swords, where you go after the Three of Swords. Interesting, look at the World card coming here right below. Now the Prince, the Knight of Cups came back and it's the Prince Cups. There are two here in this energy. Look at, they're coming back with that emotional, I tell you what they've been holding back, they're bringing it in here. Not only are they riding this horse, which is a horse full of humility, it's apologetic energy, pushing through some, I wanna say their emotional obstacles. We saw the princess cups coming in reverse. There's a lot of that energy here. And for example, just when the reading began of coming in with the truth around what happened with the queen of cups healing energy and wanting to, to make things work out. And then directly sending them back in reverse, saying, okay, so let's back up. It's sort of like when you hear those rewinds of what happened here, of both what happened, the past energy, and where things are currently and where they're going. So we saw that coming in with the princess, a part of why there needs what happened, the wishy-washy energy, the broken promises, and why they're needing to 
Well, thank goodness that they're getting some clarity and they're needing to be honest with you here and come in with that cup full of it. And I think it might be a lot more too. And I said full of it, which I know some of you are saying, yeah, they were that too. <laughs> this is not something I hear very often and I'm not gonna bring it through completely. Anyway, coming here now on the upright saying, yeah, I, there is humility, I'm pushing it through. And I'm also revealing how I feel. Look at that octopus. They are at the bottom of the ocean, the deepest part of the ocean, which we also saw in that six of swords. Those swords were going all the way down. And that energy was Mercury and Aquarius and how deep things go and how it's time for things to, it's time to, yeah, I want to say have some resolution. Whether that is reconciliation or closure, it's time. Look at this divine timing, the world energy, the future energy. They're coming in here. This Prince of Cups. The princess, prince, charming energy is also all about romantic proposals. Here also in the two of cups. Marriage, yeah, it can be. It's a validation here with the world card. I want to tell you. So for some of you, that is here, Sagittarius. Do I think that's for everybody that they're coming in here and wanting to uh, completion energy, which is coming here with the world card and wanting to ask ask you to marry them, or maybe it's you asking somebody, it's here. This is a life-changing decision that's going on, both they're making and I feel they're bringing to you. But it's not always going to be about marriage because proposal energy, you know, can be just to meet, to talk, to talk again, to meet for the first time, whatever that is for you. But it's pretty intense here. The Knight of Cups, the Two of Cups, and the World card. Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, and Aquarius here in that world card energy. Fixed signs don't really love change. So there has been some fear around here. But that completion energy is strong. That's getting through the obstacles, which we see this Prince Cups doing. The divine, divine timing, communication. Overcoming that Saturn in reverse energy here also in the Queen of Pentacles in reverse in the Three of Swords, that the planet of restriction, slowing some things down, putting some obstacles in the way. Saturn energy here in the world card, that, that's out of the way here. It's out of the way here again. And that completion energy is strong. And for me, you can see here that this is not closure. This is reconciliation. For some of you, it can be actual travel, so that somebody is, you know, getting on a chariot, getting on a horse, planes, trains, automobiles. Funny, funny choice of words as we're here as a channel for you at this time of year. But in any case, it can be actual travel in that way. But it's also just on the journey. And this is toward the future. It's the world card here. This Prince of Cups. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Please show us more of what Sagittarius needs to see today. Aho. Justice. Libra energy. Ace of Cups. King of Cups. There is the holding back energy. The suppressing of the mo emotions. We know that you love each other. They love you too. And we know that the truth of this is coming now. It's been validated with the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles. And then kind of did that rewind and took us back of what's coming in. We see this is a validation of the truth coming in. Also of the balancing of the Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine energy, of course, within us all. But within your person, in order to be clear and truthful with themselves, which they have, there's a lot of clarity in the Seven of Cups in reverse, but also in this major arcana, the moon card. That's what it is. And it's the truth of that coming and what is coming here. It's whatever else you've been waiting for honesty around, it's here and around their feelings. They have been suppressing their emotions. King of Cups energy, Pisces energy. Look. There is the octopus again, which is really deep emotions. We see, you know, <laughs> they're coming along here with that. That's just really incredibly clear with an offer. With the truth, with an apology, and with an offer, it's incredibly clear. They have been suppressing and resisting this. Look what this octopus has been trying to do, like emotionally pulling them here into the deep emotions. And the King of Cups is the master of emotions, just la, la, la. Just going to juggle here um, the cups, which for me is a lot of that balance that's been needed in the divine feminine, divine masculine energies, which they can't 
play it anymore, hold off anymore, suppress it anymore. The truth is coming here, Sagittarius. Libra energy, Venus energy, a solution also around this truth. This is an 11. It's a master number. It is new beginnings literally around this truth. It's also a decision. And of course, that 11, forming a union, making a two, a partnership, the two of you, the truth, the balance, the new cycle that's coming here. And <laughs> this is can, it can't even be any clearer look. We saw them coming in with the truth, with the Queen of Swords in the upright and the Queen of Pentacles. And then it was that rewind of what happened, and it's exactly here. Lying about how they feel. Queen of Swords in reverse, King of Cups in reverse, causing this heartbreak. Things not to move here. Well, they've got the clarity. Look at that. And the Ace of Cups as well. So the Ace of Cups, the Two of Cups, the Prince of Cups, the World card. The truth, an apology, and an offer. Over full Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy. Proposal energy is incredibly strong here today. Again, is it marriage for some of you? Yes. This is really, 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 really clear. But it's not marriage for everyone, but it is a proposal. So are they just saying, let's talk. I want to talk right now, or I want to see you, or let's talk more later, whatever it is. It's coming in here. It's strong. There is an apology with that. There's a lot of deep emotions that I think is also really revealing the truth of those emotions. It just, you can't even, I can't deny it. They can't deny it. <laughs> we can't deny it. It's here. So exactly what that proposal energy is, it might be different for everyone, but it is this energy that's going on right now. They are clearer. Okay. Bottom of the deck, the King of Swords. <laughs> this is just, couldn't be any clearer, literally. Gemini and Mercury energy. Of course, Gemini is all about communication. Mercury, the ruling planet for Gemini. Also Virgo. And the planet of the mind, what's on their mind, the planet of communication. Here with that sword, transactional energy, clarity in relationships. Thought out. They've been thinking what they want to say, and they're being really strategic about this, interestingly enough. There's not a lot of energy of just kind of popping in out of the blue. So it, it's sort of planned. It could be. I'm hearing, and I'm not getting a lot of validation here when I look down, but I'm hearing for some of you it could be around in person. I don't think that's for everybody because the long distance energy and the separation is also quite strong here for some of you. The truth that literally they've been trying to <laughs> hide about how they feel to look, even putting justice here, um, hiding justice. But they've been thinking for a long time, this is communication. It's very intentional and strategic around what they want to say. And it's bringing in, look, uh, oh my gosh. So it brought in the queen of, it just turned into a bottoms up energy here, Sagittarius. It brought in the hangman. So this is not surprising at all. It's kind of like the naughty corner. <laughs> it's where they've been. Pisces energy, major arcana energy changing here. Look at this, activating this crown chakra. Oh yeah. Higher power, spiritual messages, working things out. That crown chakra connecting us to the sun energy, which is not the case here. It's Uranus, but that's the, the outcome and it's connecting to working things out. This is getting that, getting, getting their energies balanced so they can come here and communicate, getting clear and, and honest with themselves so they can bring that forward to you. And I just want to show you what was going on here. The Nine of Swords and the Nine of Wands both wanting to show themselves, which is really interesting. Well, first of all, the Nine of Swords, Gemini, Mars energy. So they've been really in their head here trying to figure out how to come, not sleeping. There's a lot of anxiety around this, trying to figure out how to come forward here, this King of Cups. And we're putting the Queen of Cups here. Look, both of you here in reverse. This is the thing. They've been holding, holding it back. We know that. The truth is coming now. Which has also, it's more of, 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 except it's another level, higher level of healing energy in reverse, like the Queen of Pentacles too, which has allowed, has made things not healed and moved on, which is what's needing to happen here. The emotional, the separation right is right here. The Queen of Cups and the King of Cups, the emotional energy here. But we also see the connection that is still here. So that's around while well, denying the feelings, which we know is changing here. And 
bringing in that healing energy, putting that Queen of Pentacles back in the upright, which we saw coming in, and also taking this Queen of Cups along with it. But the hangman is where they've been going, this naughty, <laughs> naughty corner energy, naughty tree. Here working things out, look, literally getting to getting to the root of the issues here, quite literally working it out, the crown chakra, solving this issue here. A lot of it around themselves, look, they're not sleeping very well. Major arcana energy, how long were they in it? Because that nocturnal energy around the emotions, the moon in reverse is the clarity that they're getting and the truth that's coming to you. It's really super clear. And I'm not keeping these, but they both came in. Also the nine of wands. That's the moon in Sagittarius energy. That's your energy, Sagittarius. And that moon energy again, which is interesting because this is, this is what they have been doing. They've been kind of keeping, well, like walls around their emotions. That's a lot of what's hap what has happened and what has been happening and what is changing here. And by the way, these two nines coming in together, this is fulfillment. This is fulfillment, 99 coming in here together. So that's really interesting how that has played out. It's going here. I want to bring in some Oracle for you now, Sagittarius. We're shuffled and ready to go. So I'm going to show you what's going on at the bottom of the deck. The strength energy here, I'm not reading Oracle in reverse, by the way, which of course is directly connecting us to Leo and the source. <laughs> this is working out the cycle here. And on a side note, there is a really strong, well, there's, you, you love each other. They love you, Sagittarius, and I see that you love them too. It's kind of everything, soul connection, the love, the emotional ha energy has been obviously hurt and unhealed and disconnected but that we see that is still here and that's also what's going to change the lies around how they felt in this king of swords in reverse but it's kind of everything here i'm just wondering for some of you the physical aspect mental emotional physical and spiritual bringing in that four of swords energy kind of lining everything up for you for some of you maybe there is a physical distance um, both, I want to say, just in not talking, it could be someone around the corner, but also long distance for some of you. But the Four of Swords is where everybody went. You know, this is where you're going for the renewal and the separation and waiting for the truth to come, but also getting yourself to, to bring that truth here, which we see quite literally coming through. But this is working out the cycle. And the message that I was sending <laughs> that didn't finish is also that you have a really strong chemistry together. So it's really, there's a really strong connection, I feel like, on every level. Obviously, that's been very hurt. And for some of you, there is the physical separation. So when things are working, it's like, woo, <laughs> over the top energy. And when it's not, it uh, uh, can get overwhelming. That's what I want to say. Even can even get overwhelming even when things are good. But that is very much on their mind here. Look at that sun energy here as they connect to and, and literally get the strength to work out the cycle and come here. It's so strong. So we're going to keep it. It's yours. And look what it just did. It cut the deck and brought in the soulmate energy. So this is how it's going. Look, this is almost like the six of swords. We saw a transition. That's kind of, yeah, that's really like that energy of things moving here again. Mercury energy of talking again. And I like this because it's a really spiritual connection here with the deer. And, you know, they're, they come close to humans in particular when there is some healing necessary, spiritual healing and heart chakra. So I really, really like this, this transitory energy that's coming through. And I'm going to keep that. And this is kind of what we're going to do here. And also your soulmate energy. It just revealed new beginnings. Look at that. Trust yourself. Interesting because we're seeing the moon in reverse. Look at the moon energy here also in the soulmate energy. So there is a decision coming in here. I mean, it is just really clear. Uh, and, and again, life changing, that world card energy here connecting with the two of cups. I mean, it's strong. Soulmate energy here is also really strong and, and I've been feeling that. But this is the trust yourself energy that wanted to reveal. And here on the other end, we have the new beginnings coming in. 
there's a nest here and that can be representing a dwelling for some of you, like a place of residence. But it's also the connection and it's the new beginnings. Look, the eggs here about to hatch. Yeah, so this is just really strong. That's your connection is what I wanted to say. We're keeping that because that is clear. Did it just bring something in with it? I think it did. It brought in union. It brought in union. Yeah, this is clearer for me. You know, the world card energy really is that. Again, now here's the thing. This is, first of all, this is not a twin flame reading. So this is not, I'm not telling anybody that there's a union coming here, okay? That's really important that you know that. Twin flame readings are below, but of course, it can be around communication because it's not always about coming together in person, you know? This is really clear that that your person here, should this be your reading and you're resonating today, is reaching out with, with some kind of offer. The truth and an apology and what is that offer? Is that all it is or is it more? It can be really big here. So that is what's coming through here with this union energy. It's quite strong and it's a validation here with the world energy. But I'm going to put it up here with the two of cups and we're going to see this and let it move on because I want to do a little more shuffling then I'm going to bring in some channeled love messages but look it's the success card it's transformational with the butterfly of course and it's coming out of the dark into the light the success energy of things working out the transformational energy around timing here so I really really like this there they go. <laughs> Let's move it and see if there's anything else coming through for you. That was interesting how that came through your cards today. Thank you, Spirit Guides. Well, oh, it just went flying. I was about to say, please show us what we need to see, and it came flying out. Intuition is strong. Yeah, so trust yourself. We saw that in intuition. Interesting. Connecting really with the moon energy some more. And the high priestess energy with this reveal that's coming. Because there's a lot of emotional reveal coming in the high priestess, of course. Cancer and cancer energy and divine feminine energy. The major arcana with the decision. With the reveal here and trusting yourself. Look at the brain is like interesting. I, can, I don't know if I can read all that. Hold on a second. <laughs> I'm going to look here with my... Why do I always forget what this is called? It's such a brain fart. I don't know why I always do that. It's every time. But flowers growing out of the head here. Clarity, the eyes, all the perseverance it looks like. Perfection. It looks like a beginning. A future of good health, intuition. Yeah, so it's trusting yourself with this decision, I feel like, that you're going to be faced with. There wasn't a lot coming out of here, but, I mean, this is also where your person has been, that Nine of Swords, you know, just really up in their head. I'm putting this here. Is there anything else that we need to see today? Sagittarius, there is. Okay. Balance, having faith and simplicity. It's easier than you think. I like that. With the rose, look in the messenger. It's a, is that a dove? Looks like a dove. Of course, they come in pairs, love and peace around that energy. This is looking a lot like source, the sun, the new beginnings with a rose right there in the middle. Having faith, look, hope with the rainbow. Things will work out the way they're meant to work out. That's what is coming through. And balance, still needed. You know, the elephant is a Taurus energy, by the way, and the trunk isn't upright yet because there, there is a balancing energy here. And as I say that, um, I'm actually hearing that the faith energy is going here and your overall energy today. I was wondering where where that was. It, sometimes it comes, sometimes it doesn't. Yeah. The balance here, both in your, again, with your within your person, the divine feminine, divine masculine energies to come here with the truth. But that's also, a, that's connected to Libra, by the way. And that's around the truth. And it's the renewal here. The partnership. Hello. I was just putting down your balance and your deck with the balance there, telling you how much I liked your reading. <laughs> and I looked up and the camera wasn't recording. 
So we're going to bring in some channeled love messages, messages from their higher self and close your reading. I just want to move it around a little. I think of you every day. It's going in the Nine of Swords. I close my eyes and imagine you're here with me. I'm sorry I ghosted you. We have a deep soul connection. That's really, really apparent here. They know it too. Thinking of you brings me peace. You radiate light. I really like this a lot. I'm putting this here with Union and the Two of Cups. I don't know how to fix this. Interesting. And then it just wanted to be right here with simplicity in the, in the King of Swords, with communication and the truth. We know that already. The Queen of Swords in reverse here and the King of Swords in the upright. Look at that. The lack of the truth, the lack of communication, which we know is coming in. And the Queen of Swords was in the upright, as we know when your reading began. I miss you. You're beautiful inside and out. Your last channeled love message, channeled message from your person, message from their higher self. I wished on a star tonight. I really like that a lot. Biggest wish energy, wishing on a star, faded connection. The renewal, the hope for renewal, inner clarity, which is really strong here. There's a lot of love here. You can see that. You know what happened? Obviously, it was a real validation that they are trying to, well, <laughs> come with the truth of how they feel and what else happened here. How they feel is really apparent and it's also really apparent that they are aware that they were holding that back. Beautiful, beautiful Sagittarius, that is your reading today. And I'm wanting to put this here, I know, with your soulmate and your two of cups. Thank you for joining me. I really enjoyed your reading so much and I hope that you did too. And if you did, I would really appreciate it if you took the time to like today's video and subscribe to the Tarot Closet if you have not. It goes without saying thank you for being here today. I'm sending you so much love and so much light and hoping for the best outcome for you.